would it be? Would it do, Joe? First thing, uh, same place as last year, just a lot different. It's gonna go all in my mouth. No, it's not. All of it. No, it's not. That is. This is the back room of the stages, and last year, we came back here, David Blaine performed for us, Snoop Dogg spoke for us, Mark Ronson spoke for us, the CEO of YouTube came out, so I don't know what's going to happen this year, but I'm excited. What's your guess of who's coming out? Beyonce, Ellen, and Oprah. Whoa! There we go. The big three? What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Illuminati? That's the, that's the leader of the Illuminati right there. Yes! <laughs> I think, um... Ellen and Oprah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. That's a trap. Oh, I know. He's about to drop some. No, 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 no. Can I have a little bit of volume, please? Just turn me up a little bit. What you gonna do? Ready? Smash! Woo! Oh. Whoa, there's stuff in it! Oh, there's a hole in the bottom! Oh. Oh, I see. No, no, it no, no. Whoa! Oh. We're here at lunch. That lighting though is nice! We saw some cool creators. We saw the beatboxer. We had some other things. But, Lauren Clay. And she's allergic to almonds. And she eats almonds. I've never seen any proof. Right now. No. Here. Just look at it. It's a piece of almond right here. Let's see. Prove it. <laughs> prove it. Prove it. it. See? It's not true. I will show you. You have to prove it right now. Really trying to kill me. This is almond. She's lying. She's not allergic. She's not allergic to almonds. I will show you a picture of my face. When I eat almonds. This is a Photoshop picture she's about to show you. No, it's not. It's not just me being 90 years old. That is not. <laughs> eat it. No. Prove it. That's what happens. It touched you, it touched you. <laughs> Whatever. Nobody believes you. We all know you've been lying. Oh, here comes more food. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. So this is the chicken de la mango infused. This is really couscous. Yes. Thank you so much to everyone who supported me. Well, between that uh, and everything that you're working on, um, you have landed the cover of Time Magazine. That was two years ago. I mean, oh, please! Are you kidding? <laughs> if, that, if that, I would be my profile picture for the rest of my life. Like, I can't. Keeping your eyes closed at all times. You'll stay in your chairs. It's almost like you have an imaginary seatbelt attaching you to your chair, keeping you safe at all times. You'll block out all the sounds around you as if they no longer exist and just listen to the sound of my voice. Now in a second, I'll come up and down the line, I'll be touching you on the left or right wrist. I'll just raise your hand a couple of inches off your lap, do not try and help me. The moment I pick up your hand a few inches off your lap, I'll drop your hand straight back down to your lap and understand your hand will be just like a rag doll. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. Don't try and help me, let me lift your hand up, just allow yourself to relax, that's it. Let it go, just like a rag doll, loose and limp. And the deeper you go, the better you feel, good job. And the better you feel, the deeper you go, just relax, my friend. Deeper, relaxing each day in every way. We're good right there. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Now just for the hypnotized volunteers, I want you to understand something profound and unique about yourself. I want you to understand that nothing can break your concentration. Nothing can break your utmost concentration. In fact, all hypnosis is, ladies and gentlemen, is a heightened sense of relaxation, but actually it's a heightened sense of concentration. That's what hypnosis is. I'll have a chance for my volunteers to introduce themselves to you. 
On a count of three, to be fully alert and wide awake. One, two, and three. Welcome back, back to normal. Eyes open. Good to see each and every one of you. Hey, my friend. Hi, I'm Joey. Joey, where are you from? Um, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, good to see you, Joe. Um, sleep, just sleep, Joe. Just relax. And the deep you go, the better you feel. The better you feel, the deep. How are you doing, sir? Cutting to me. Oh, come forward, what are you watching it? Amanda. Amanda, good to see you. Sleep, just relax, Amanda. Keep your eyes closed. The deep you go, rest in peace. What was your name again? Jamal. Jamal? I said, sleep, Jamal. Just rest and close your eyes. If I let go, just rest in the deep you go. Closing your eyes at all times. How are you doing, my friend? Good. You said. It's a nice scene, man. Sweet, just fine. Right. The deep ego, the belly feel, the belly feel, the deep Hey, hey. Alex. Alex, good to see you, man. Is that sweet, Alex? Just press the deep ego, the belly feel. I'm good. What was your name? Meredith. Meredith? All right, just take the seat back in the audience. I'm going to have you do the same, just back in the audience for me. Don't worry about her, I've got it. Perfect. Now, just for the volunteers, going to rearrange you real quick. I count three eyes open, fully alert. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to put you right in there. I'm going to put you in there. Can you do me a favor? Can I have you sit on the end? That'd be wonderful. Every one of you, look at the hand. Sweet! Just relax. Close your eyes. Close your eyes on the end. The deeper you go, the better you feel. The better you feel, the deeper you go. Now, just for the hypnotized volunteers, I want you to understand and listen to each and every word I say. Every word I say becomes truth, truth becomes reality. I want you to understand some. it's a hot summer's day, you're all in New York City, you've just bought yourself a lovely Mr. Whippy, Mr. Softy, Mr. McFluffy ice cream. I want you to understand it's about 95 degrees, it's beautiful in the city, you're here in the heat of summer, you're going to get that ice cream in your hand with your eyes closed, you'll lick it as fast as you can before it melts, and trust me, it's melting. On a count of three, you're separating your chairs, get the ice cream, lick it as fast as you can before it melts. Get ready guys, one, two. Sleep and relax. Sleep and just relax. Sleep and relax. Keep an eye on it, Mark. He's like a little bit on the foggy side. As soon as you milk that cow, you'll feel better about yourself. Get ready, guys, with your eyes closed. One, two, three. Get my cow, milk it, 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 Freeze! Just take a seat. Just push that cow out of the way, guys. Push that cow out of the way. Let's go and get the smelly cow. Bring the big smelly cow in, the big smelly cow, and that thing sticks. Now, just for the person I'm touching now, I want you to realize from this point forward, between now and the point of me leaving this building, I want you to know your new name is E I E I O. Now, should anybody ever ask your name, it's completely E I E I O. Nod your head if you understand. That's your first name, always was and always will be. The person I'm touching now, something really weird is happening to you. I want you to understand every time you hear me say YouTube, every time when your eyes are open you hear me say YouTube, you realize wings immediately sprout out of your back. You'll understand you really are the one and only Tinkerbell. Every time you hear me say YouTube, when your eyes are open, Tinkerbell, your wings will appear out of your back. You'd like to have a fly, a flutter, a hop and a crawl around the stage. I want you to understand from this point forward, every time you try and talk, your tongue immediately flops and falls out of your mouth and just gets in the way. It just becomes annoying. Nod your head if you understand. Good. So we're just going to quickly reintroduce ourselves on the volunteers. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you tonight. What was your name, Ken? Uh, uh, uh. I was just asking for your name, but what I want you to do is stand there, face everybody, and uh, sometimes it happens if you take a deep breath in, tongue will fall out even further. But do your first and last name. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, you said, I've seen you on YouTube, man, you've got an awesome channel. Uh, just gonna wait for you to take your eyes, man. Is that your first name? Yeah. yeah. What's your last name? You can take a seat, dude. Sweet, I got you, man. Is that your first name? Yeah. What's your last name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your last name? No. <laughs> What's your middle name? Joey? Is your middle name? 
do me a favour, you're not messing around with me, man. Uh, just say your first name, your middle name, and your last name. Yeah, yeah, yo, Michael Persepa. <laughs> Show him some love, guys, on five, would you? One for the refreshing, the loaf and the light, two for letting you bathe your eyes in the cool mountain spring, three for the energy rushing into your veins, four for the better than you've ever felt before, and then a second, but not yet. Five eyes open for the alert. Right? We have it. Chef Lily. Like no, 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 I'm cutting this. Professionally I'm cutting, right here. cutting oh, velvet. Cutting wow, you really do know how to cut this thing. This is very hectic, but my job is to sell. So when they're all done, I'm going to get up in front of everybody in the room and pitch our meal. It's going to be good. You suck. You guys are going down. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. Are, You're not even doing anything. Are, I, oh, I'm the sous chef. What does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm mitigating. You're doing nothing either? You're not. <laughs> What are you doing? Where's your team at? I'm the presenter. Me too. Me too. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Stop pretending like you know what you're doing, Ava. I make food all the time. Oh, okay. You having fun? Portobello mushroom. Ooh, gross. <laughs> team Pinata. Getting it over here. Look at that. So one at a time, everybody's bringing their drinks and their tacos up. And they have to pitch it, they have 10 seconds. That's gonna be my job. Let's see what she got. I would like you to prep for tomorrow's hangover with today's tacos. Nice. Short and sweet. Party with our Cinco de Mayo Mai taco platter. You can definitely pitch it with our frozen flavor margarita. All brought to you by our mascot, Stan, the taco guy. Wow. Yeah, Rick. Wow. My performance, sir. Soft. What? What did you think of my performance? We felt bad for you. I did. I did pity you. Really? They said the main ingredient. Tyler. Is happiness. This is. Wow. Are you really happy? That's what I want. Wow. It seemed like you guys were Low blow. Okay, I'm out of here. Tasty's taco award is going to be presented by Andrew Kaplan. Tastiest taco, um, speaking a little outside the box, having great flavor, sauces, cheese, salsa, meats, and roll. Yes, it. Whatever tastiest is Team Pug Taco. Okay, okay. We don't need that one. We don't need that one. Uh, 
thank you for everyone who voted for us. Uh, this is the first award I've ever won. <laughs> thank you all. Up next, we're getting the award for best cocktail. Team Boots. Team Boots. Yeah. Are we gonna win this last one? Are we gonna win this last one? Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We deserve it way more. We're stealing the camera. One of the winners. We are. Did you win one? Yeah, man. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, were you the beatboxer? No, no, I wasn't. But I, I wrote one word. What? Well, nah. What was it? Uh, basically, we needed something that rhymed with margarita. Uh huh. I was like margarita. Oh. I was the presenter. Yeah. What'd you do? I I drafted one word. You didn't cook. You didn't do anything else. That's it. I <laughs> like collecting some protein. Oh, uh, and you got nice shoes. Yeah. There we go. I was like there for presentation. <laughs> These are the top 150 creators in the world. About to take a picture. Nice. This way, everybody. Watch your step. Thanks for coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exits that way. Please remain calm. Uh, today has been a really long day so far. And uh, we skipped the planned dinner they had and cocktail party. Because we're just, we're just so tired. We were there for nine hours. We're sitting there for nine hours. There was some cool stuff, but nine hours of anything is a lot. Now we have to go to this last party thing um, and then we can come back and go to sleep for reals. We took a little nap. Did you nap? No. You're not tired? No. Yes, you're not tired or yes, you are tired? I need my vitamins, man. Here, just have a mint. I need my vitamins. I, I have a mint. Come on. Oh, it's vitamins! <laughs> I was like, I don't want your stupid mint. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, you want some multivitamins? They taste mint. It's mint. It's only for men. Sorry. You're, you're taping, so I feel like I have to. It's a gummy, right? Yeah. Is it oh, good? This is good. I know. Super good. You feel better? Super good. Oh, I feel so good now. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Monica. Daniel. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs>
Welcome to the end of vlog talk. It's currently three in the morning. I just fin finished editing and I'm just doing the end of vlog talk and I'm gonna throw it in. Lauren fell asleep, but it's okay because we got a big day tomorrow. But today was an epic one at Creator Summit in New York City. As soon as we woke up, we went straight to a room, all the 150 YouTubers here, and we sat there for like hours and hours. But it was the craziest hours ever. We got to hear a dope beatboxer. Aziz Ansari spoke to us, um, and we got to ask him questions. I got hypnotized for the first thing ever, which I thought was not a real thing. And a lot of other stuff I didn't even vlog because I was so mesmerized, or I was like focused on the act, which was it was it was a crazy day. But let's go back to this hypnotized thing. So hypnotized is not what you think. If you thought what I thought, you thought you would wake up after and you don't remember anything and you don't know why you're right laughing. The way he did it is he spent like 10 minutes putting us like into like a trance and he's like, you're getting sleepy, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're getting sleepy, you're getting heavy, look at this, look at that, you're getting heavy. And then by the time he was done, I was just like a blob of skin. And then when he would tell us to do things or he would like pull my arm or like say, go to sleep, it would just, my body, I'm just so relaxed that it's easier to just do what he said and follow his commands than it was for me to like think or um, not do what he said because then I would have to like actually do work. But I was in such a relaxed state that whatever he said, I was like, okay. When he said go to sleep, I wasn't completely asleep. I was, my body was asleep, but my mind was awake. I knew I was laying on some girl that I've never met before. I wasn't fully aware, I like, I didn't think, oh, I'm on stage, oh, there's people watching me, oh, there's this, but I knew I was hypnotized. <laughs> then what happened? Oh, then he was like, he was like, oh, wake up, and something about ice cream. And I, I got up, and then at that point, my body was like, hey, you look like an idiot, stop doing what you're doing. And then my brain's like, wait, no, your ice cream's melting. So then my body didn't know what to do, so my hands started shaking, and then I was just super confused, and then I was like, ah, ah. And then he said, get off stage, and then I was like, oh yeah, I'm on stage. <laughs> so that's how that went down. I don't know how other people experienced it, but that's how I experienced it. Tomorrow's gonna be another epic day. Gonna be like a concert, big event. It's like the big event of the entire creator summit thing there's gonna be parties and it's gonna be a vlog full of youtubers once again so until then do me a favor and don't forget to remember if you're not smiling you're doing it wrong